What is going on, Ben Nation? I hope you're having a great morning. Of course, if you're looking at the charts and you're looking at the market, you're probably not having the greatest of because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of sell-off happening right now. I think the market's down about $150 billion as I do this. Uh, this is that flush out before the next leg up. Perhaps it takes through the halving, which is coming in an estimated 14 days, maybe about two weeks. So you know, we're getting to that point where it's going to be um, – there's there's going to be a liftoff. It's going to be a fantastic liftoff for the entire market, but we're not exactly there yet. We got to wait for the having. So once that happens, then we'll see how this all manifests itself. But in the meantime, uh, Bencoin, despite that most of the market really dumped super hard, uh, Ben held up with a less than ten percent dump, while the rest of the market is really uh, just kind of capitulating. And of course, you know, until we get into uh, a bigger range of utility, then, you know, we still kind of fall in that meme coin market, despite the fact that it's not really, right? There's no meme involved or anything like that. But we're still in that market, and that's the DGENs, if you will, that we are uh, next to by proxy of being on Uniswap. So, you know, you're, you're seeing this drawdown a little bit, uh, consolidation to the side. I think you're going to see a big liftoff coming pretty soon question is how far down do we come there's between 60 and 64,000 a big CME futures gap most probably that gets filled so uh, hold tight and hold fast because there's going to be a reversal it'll come it'll be a big reversal and when it happens uh, should be a, a really nice really really nice run so we'll see what happens now on the Ben side of everything uh, if you haven't checked it out uh, we're going to check out some price action. Uh, we'll give you kind of an update of where we go from here, what it looks like, you know, how it's playing out. And, and you know, let's pull it up on the screen and let's see where we are. All right, guys. So as you can see, you know, we haven't broken down off of our support yet. We're still just kind of ranging in here. Now, we did think that nice little reversal was going to give us that, that leg up or that kick up, if you will. Uh, but we haven't really broken that yet. Now, I do think that the market being what it is, you know, the, this little capitulation move that we're having here, uh, that's creating some problems for for um, a lot of people mentally, if you will. But I mean, you know, overall, uh, I think we're fine. It's just a matter right now of getting that reversal and getting that big move going. Um, so it'll happen. It, as you can see from where we are right now, when we zoom out, we're in uh, the point of control for um, the, the volume range. So you know, the, the next point of control in this volume range is going to be right up here at around 67. So I would expect a reversal back to 67 at some point very soon. So uh, if you're not paying attention to it, and you're not looking at this kind of stuff, then um, you know that's what you're going to see. And that's where it'll, uh, that's where the move is going to be. So let's pay attention to, 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 to this level and then that 67 level. And then once we break out of 67, then you'll be looking at 78 and then 86. So you know, there are a couple levels here that we're going to have to break out of. We'll break out of those. Uh, we're in good shape. Uh, but again, you know, this is a a, wheel, uh, a wild market, a weird sort of circumstance. And it's a scary time for some investors. So make sure that you're holding your bag appropriately and, you know, don't jeet out, as they say. Uh, let's move on to the news. By the way, that we did this in reverse today. All right. Why BTM machines? Over 20% of the United States population is underbanked and under banked entirely, meaning they don't have bank accounts or access to financial services. Most people have BTM machines provide easy access to purchase Ethereum, Bitcoin, and now Bencoin. This was turned on yesterday. These transactions are pr processed in just a few minutes and users can buy and sell their crypto for cash. The unbanked community faces significant barriers to accessing crypt cryptocurrency investment opportunities. True adoption cannot be achieved without ensuring easier access to crypto investments for all. Now, uh, what does it mean really? And Let's talk about what that means. One of the things that I continue to say, one of the things that I continue to post on X is that Ben, Ben Coin is going to foster mass adoption in the crypto space. Well, let me tell you something, brother. We are now the only token on the Bitcoin machines not named Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. So if you don't think that that's not significant to mass adoption, then you're kidding yourself. If you're one of those uh, crybabies, um, the, 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 discovery crybabies, if you will, that cry about everything that Ben does on, on X, Twitter, if you will, or in the comment section, stuff like that. If you're one of those crybabies, uh, you're like, well, I don't see mass I don't see adoption being masked over here. Well, you're not paying attention, stupid. So you should start paying attention because what you're seeing is the groundwork being laid 
for all of what we're talking about. And now you're seeing it. Now you'd be resentful. And now when you make your comments, you just look like an idiot because now it's actually happening. Now, what happens after that? Well, then you bring out the Ben Fi staking, which will be any day now, uh, contracts being finalized and tested. Uh, then you take it just a step further. And what is a step further? Well, uh, the redesign of the website. Then you take it a step further. What is that? Uh, that's going to these locations, going to these meetings, going to these uh, NFT conventions or these crypto conventions or these Bitcoin uh, Miami convention, stuff like that, going out there, letting people know that Ben coin exists. And then all of a sudden you start to see people coming in because retail is what Ben coin is about. The DeFi community is what Ben coin is all about. So when you see this start to happen, then uh, you get to say, boom, I don't care. I don't, you know, I don't care. And then I get to say, ah, I told you so. And then we get to point and laugh at you because you didn't believe you got to believe. Anyway, that's my time, guys. You have a good day. This is not financial advice. But I'm always right.